All right, and we are live. Good morning, everybody, Ooh. from somewhere in whoo, western Wyoming. <laughs> somewhere. He's taking in all those wonderful sights of Wyoming. There's not a damn thing to see out here, to tell you the truth. Any YouTubers in Wyoming? Hard to believe, you know. Good morning, Dave. How are you this morning? Doing pretty good. Oh, we tried doing a little bit of road stuff. Uh, unfortunately, D, I really wanted him to go live, so I'm going to take the first shift today here on the Rosie Murphy channel. Welcome you all aboard. We're getting right just to hit the uh, rest area here. Foot so off, fabulous. How you doing? Yeah, so you'll have to pretty much monitor the chat here. Oh, these roads are all torn up in Wyoming, I can tell you that. It's August is snow and ice. Ooh, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Let's put this on live chat. Let's get it up to a good speed limit. Good morning, everybody. The hot and D's going to really be monitoring the chat. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we got on. What do we get on the road? About eight o'clock or something like that. Yeah, early. Pretty early today. Got cleared up out of the hostel. Got a morning coffee. How y'all doing? Hey, Bonnie, how you doing? As promised, I do want to use the uh, Murphy channel once in a while for uh, hangouts here. So I'm going to uh, go for an hour or two or until we lose signal and then D. Hopefully, he'll get some signal. He's got, uh, what is it, Cricket to choose? Yeah, AT&T AT Towers, but there's like something. nothing out here. Yeah, there's like no AT&T service that he can pick up. I'll give you guys the road view here. Swing that around. You can see we just have, there's just a beautiful kind of, sky though. Yeah, it's a beautiful big sky. There's just really nothing to see out here. We'll be gassing up in about 30 miles or so. Good bison burgers. Yeah, I heard the same thing. Good morning, Sandy. How you doing? Sandy Callie. Good morning, girl. Welcome to the uh, great state of Wyoming here. Wyo, Wyoming. Hey, Goonie Snuggles, how you doing? We have an 80 mile an hour speed limit, but we got tons of work out here on the highways. So we've been gone from two lanes to one lane to two lanes to one lane. One thing they're known for out here in Wyoming is the sage, though. The sagebrush. Yep. But that there, I'm just making sure that. Uh, how you doing? If I don't see the chat, hey, Quinny, I'm just kind of depending on D to monitor the uh, chat. We were listening to another hangout. We just, I almost ran off the road falling asleep, so we had to change up the programming. So that you can see the beautiful sky. Yeah, it is very beautiful sky. Very, very beautiful today. It's definitely a big sky country out here. 69 degrees. You always wanted to go to a dude ranch in Wyoming. How you doing, D. Quinn? Quinny. So boring and beautiful, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's just, there's not a lot to see out here. Just in our first, the rest stops are about 100 miles apart. Which is fine. I don't know how many miles we're down. We're probably 280 miles to Cheyenne. Mrs. Zombie, how you doing? Hey, Mrs. Zombie, what's up, babe? Give her a bunny cha-cha. Nebraska and Iowa. Yeah, I've driven this a few, I've driven this before in Nebraska. Uh, we still have to get over the Rockies. We're sort of in the intermountain here, uh, intermountain area here. Then we'll be out on the plains once we drop down on uh, eastern Montana flat down to Nebraska and basically we'll be going downhill the whole way. See some lakes, yeah. Nice to see you, Bonnie and uh, Mrs. Zombie. Really nice to see you today. Welcome to Wyoming, Western Wyoming. On the Rosie Murphy channel. 
I'm enjoying the trip. Really, you know, I'm loving it. It's it's a really good trip. Um, I'm having peanut butter for breakfast. <laughs> Goldie Con, how you doing, babe? I just had the uh, first piece of leftover pizza from Cobra John. What's up, Cobra John? How you doing? Good Ooh. morning to you. Nice to see you today. Papa Grizz. Papa Grizz, how you feeling? Hope you're doing good. You better be sticking to your prison diet. <laughs> I want you healthy, well, and in full recovery mode. Yes. Oh, well. Makes me a gas station. <laughs> yeah, it used to be. It's the opportunity. to keep up on people's YouTube. It's Doris Day. The main in the mist is a little boat that floats around in the bottom of my Niagara Falls down there. Oh. Pretty damn cool. We're doing 80 miles an hour out of here. Generally running between 80 and 85 and uh, one point he's like, hey, you know, you're doing 100 down here. I'm like, whoa. And the van is like smooth as smooth. It was like 70. That bag is fixed in the morning, honey. Actually, the first time I've had a problem. I usually, don't have a problem wherever I travel. Woo! Look at that, lighting it up. Light switch. Light switch. Thank you. Wow! Twenty dollars super chat. Thank you, light switch. Turn that around. All right. Woo! Thank you, light switch. Thank you, my friend. People been uh, chipping us here, and we just confused who. who some people gave me money last night. Make sure to give D. And that's like, you know, we get it all square. He knows Rosie's a perfect bookkeeper, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
badass, man. Badass. Thank you, light switch. Much appreciated, my friend. So you guys tell us if you want the uh, front view or the end of the uh, end of the band here. We're running smooth. I'm gonna have to get some gas leaned in about uh, 20 miles. So, Utah Rashid Mag, we're in Wyoming. <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> Where are you? Utah Rashid Mag. Sean the Brit, how you doing? Well, morning, Sean. Morning, dynamic duo, he says. Hope you're, uh, hope you're doing well, Sean. There, I just logged my 1400th mile on the trip so far. Wow, so, this will end up being wow. something on the order of five to six thousand miles when it's done. So, YouTubers traveling, was it Beverly? Yeah, yeah, Bev Kaufman. How you doing, Bev? We're at the Continental Divide here right now, 6,900 feet. Wow. At this point, rivers flow east from here and they flow west from this point. So, the Great Divide. You can see you're, you're actually seeing 20 miles ahead over there at the horizon line. 20 miles ahead. Monique, thank you for your generosity. Thank you, sweetie. Hey, Monique. Much appreciated. Dorlin, how you doing, honey? Really appreciate it. Just in the nick of time, Dory Lynn. How you doing? Gotta say though, the AC in here works great. Yeah. It's kind of got the sun seat there. It's 66 degrees, so I opened up the vents here to let some air flow through. New country for you? Well, it is for me too. I don't think I've ever been to Wyoming. This is my uh, second time through Wyoming. Last time was east to west. This is west to east. Across the Great Divide. Yeah, blue sky smiling on us. It's beautiful. But, uh, you know, I had some people message me. I woke up this morning saying, what are you going to stop seeing Wyoming? Nothing. <laughs> 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 There's nothing to stop yeah. and see. <laughs> we're in Wyoming, Monique. We're about, Western. Yeah, we're in Western. Uh, moving into sort of central Wyoming now. West. We've gone through uh, from Salt Lake up through Park City, Utah. And then uh, climbed over the Wasatch Mountain. And then come into the intermountain region here between the Rockies and the Wasatch Mountains. It's all rangeland, very green, very lush here. Good morning, everybody. Definitely different than like Las Vegas and California. Oh, yeah, like that. Just, yeah, it's all brown. So I'm doing about 90 miles an hour right now. See how Love the cowboy boots. Maybe sometime soon I'll put mine on. But I ain't gonna chew in them things. Oh my god, that'd kill my oh, feet. Oh yeah, you just kill them. They're for show. I know. Yeah, they're for like going out to the club, sitting on a bar stool. That's it. <laughs> next order of business will be gassing up. Region. Hey, Cap Seven. Seven! How you doing? Woo! All right. Flip that around. Come on, man. Flip around there. There we go. Woo. Cap Seven, give the thumbs up. Yes. How you doing, Cap Seven? I love that guy. Yeah. Was, went off to La La Land. Enjoying your hangout as usual last night. I uh. I first started watching him back in February of last year, actually. Oh, who the hell? I think uh, Oda May turned me on to Cap 7. Hippie, how you doing? Is that Hippie Chick? Yep. How you doing, Hippie? Enjoying the 
Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, you love Wyoming. It's my first time here. Looks like I have good signal out here, too, which is nice. Yeah, that's weird that I don't I have I have uh, dedicated cell towers and not much cell traffic out here, so it's like the best it gets from cell signal. And it's very flat land, too. So the signal's going to carry with no problem at all. Good times on the open road. Yes. I'll be looking for uh, fueling up at a, uh, hopefully, a truck stop in the next uh, 50 miles or so. Yeah, at least it's green, exactly. Devil's Tower in Wyoming? I don't know. We're coming up to the exit for Red Desert here, if you're following on the home game. Hey, Pam. Pam Metz. Oh, that's really fast. Yeah, three feet. Yeah, Dory Lynn. I, I like Arizona, though. I love, I love the desert for some reason. But it's always nice to get out of the desert and start seeing some green again. This looks like another deserted uh, station now. Get on the back of a horse, Rosie. I promise you'd love it once you try it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I grew uh, up with horses, actually. There's another blown out gas station. We used to board our horses. We got about 46 miles to Rawlins, Wyoming. I guess I'll try to make that the place to gas up there. Yeah, it's very beautiful skies. Good morning to all of you who are joining uh, Murphyites on the Rosie Murphy channel. Good to have you aboard. Thank you for last night on the Hangout on the O'Kelly channel. It was another classic. Much appreciated. Yeah, you trained horses for many years. I was just involved in a little bit of 4-H and things like that when I was young. It's sunny in Santa Rosa, huh? How you doing, Chris? Is that, uh, hey, how you doing, Chris? Nice to see you. Kelby. Yeah. Welcome to Wyoming. Turn that around. Can I keep that nice and level? I've tilted a little bit so D can see the uh, see the chat. Still no signal. Uh, yes, I am, D. Quinn. My Twitter account's in my About page, and so is my Instagram. It's usually also in all my uh, descriptions of every video. Oh, you got a new video snake or a new phone so now you can live chat, huh? Hey, River Fox, how you doing? Good morning, River Fox. Welcome to Wyoming. Hippie, you wish we'd swoop you up, huh? Oh, no problem, Pam. Oh, you love Wyoming, huh? I guess certain people like certain kind of uh, places. The sky is very beautiful here, as you can see. Yeah, it is. The green, the blue, there's just like a lot of colors. Yeah. I think we're about 170 miles into Wyoming so far. Yeah. It's just nice to see. So have yourselves a seat in a coffee and enjoy the country club chat today. What the hell that place is over there? Man, I need more reading bus. Be a great
great place to see Strawberry Moonrise tonight. Oh! Well, we'll be seeing that in God willing in Carney, Nebraska. We'll look for a, uh, I think there's a pilot or something right up here. Jupiter is supposed to be spectacular too, huh? Here in the driver's seat. <laughs> True Cab 7. A lot of sage bushes out here. Yep, it's love and uh, some other thing. The shot coming out of California where I've been paying $4.05 for gasoline. You see $2.95 out here. Day with your husband, that's awesome. Yeah, if you you know, YouTube should fix that rule. Like Rosa said before, it'd be great if you just spend a small fee, you know, and pay a monthly fee to be able to use the rights of music. Exactly. You're missing out on a chance to really make some extra revenue by not offering blanket contracts that would reimburse Warner Music Group, Universal Music Group, and Sony Music Group. You know, pay a fee of 10 to $20 a month, and then if you have an incidental capture, it doesn't matter, you know. Are we choosing later tonight in Wyoming? Well, we're going to be in Nebraska. I think we're, the plan is to get maybe a six-pack and just chill out because we don't have to be anywhere early tomorrow. So this is a real grinding day for driving today. So. Do we listen to music when we're not live? Not really. We actually listen to YouTube and Hangouts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, they're very strict, I know. Got you jonesing for a cross-country road trip, huh? Yeah, hippie, it, it's, it's fun. I really enjoy this. I've been doing this for years. But I normally just go south, you know, and then, then yeah, west. There's, there's nothing like traveling to broaden the horizon. Oh, he's getting your tire fixed the other day and listening to us, huh? That's awesome. Oh, well, D-Quinn, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Everybody's got an opinion about something. Is she talking about Elvis? No, she's saying she gives us credit for ignoring all that. Oh, comments. yeah, yeah. Most of them, I don't even see him, to be honest with you. You know, Quinny, that stuff will drive you nuts if you, you know, if you pay attention. And, I mean, I pay attention to positivity, and I just tend to take negativity and just brush it off to the side because I know what the motivation is behind it. So it doesn't come from an evil heart. It comes from somebody that really wants to be, uh, you know, build it. Attention seeking in a major way. And I appreciate the uh, emails that you sent me, Quinny. Thank you. Okay. I'm cruising about 85 miles an hour right now. Smoking yeah. Baby's bomb. Anybody have any idea? what these fences are for. They put these fences like perpendicular to the road. I don't know what the purpose of them is. You know, any of you that are familiar with branching, if you look over on the side there, you see all these sideways mounted fences and things. So I have no idea what they are. Somebody will know out there. Thank you, Cap 7. Yeah, I never knew that either. I'm sure they get some wicked blizzards out here. Ah, uh, light switch. That, you know, that, that kind of... That would make sense, too. Snow dress, man. That, that's a that's a pretty good idea. I never thought about that. It's amazing that that wood can even hold that much snow up, though. There you go. How's that? 
Oh yeah, sometimes you'll see trees too, huh? That makes a lot of sense too. Oh yeah, look at all those small uh, fences. Huh? Startled at the quantity of the traffic, huh? There's no traffic jams out here. <laughs> no. Much clearer for you? All right. Yeah, we got some. Uh, we got some mountains up there. You can take this thing in, you know. I don't know. This thing's got a heck of a telephoto on this uh, galaxy. Hey, Cheryl Highfield, how you doing? Hey, Cheryl. Yeah, it seems like to be a huge trucker's route. Yeah, this is a lot of a lot of trucking on this route. Ears popping like crazy. Oh, it's raining there in Highland Falls. Looks amazing on the big screen, huh? Ah, you watch us on the telly. Yeah, treat yourself to a better view. <laughs> it's been raining there since yesterday. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, more trucks across Nevada than uh, cars, huh? Yeah, there's not much out here. I've noticed. I'm really shocked. Going through some of these states I never went through before. Just like nothing. Hello, Barrel English. How you doing? Welcome to the hey, stream. Hey, Barrel. About 24 miles till I'm gonna gas up, and 170 miles to Cheyenne. Frontier Museum. Oh man, that sounds like something cool to see. Rockstar Foxy Gamer, how you doing? Wasn't that like an old song, Cheyenne? Yeah, Cheyenne, there was a television show called Cheyenne. Ah, uh, that's where that song came from, huh? Sorry, that guy named Bodie. Oh, we've been getting raids right since April? Jeez. I know they said uh, Las Vegas they they made a record lows of temperatures in May and uh, got almost hit record uh, for rain. Never thought about long hauling. Uh, you know I have. And I actually I used to have a CDL and I did drive trucks there for a little while. And I just didn't like it. Jen. Hi, Jen. How you doing? Welcome to Wyoming. Give, uh, Jen, uh... Welcome to Wyoming. Rawlings. Close all 
the time in the winter, huh? Because of snow, I guess. Just got back home, huh, Mr. Jen? Jen, how's Bobby doing? Morning, Tom. Is that Tom Finland? Yeah. Morning, Tom Finland. to take care of your vehicles too. She takes perfect care of your, uh, your car. All the scheduled maintenance. Everything, man. When I met Bobby, I realized, man, that's a really cool dude. I like him. <laughs> that's a gentleman's gentleman. Yeah. He's doing all right? Okay. Good, good. Glad to hear that. Jen holds it down the rancho, exactly. Yeah, that's what she does. She loves to be on the rancho. I love to be on the road, so it's a perfect, uh, perfect setup. How's Georgie doing? No, it's not for everyone. Georgie boy! Georgie! You can probably hear me on the computer here. Checked out in the hospital today. It was quite an experience at that hospital. Yeah, it was. <laughs> ah, the sun's out again. Nice. Yeah, beautiful views here. Uh, do I ever get homesick? Um, not really, but I will really value my time at home when I get home in about a month or so. So I'll take two weeks, regroup. And then uh, start off for uh, SoCal in the uh, summer down there. Do that month down there. Looking forward to San Diego, boondocking, doing everything down there. Look at that beautiful view, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Mountains rising up there. Man, those are the ones we're gonna go through, huh? Yeah, they're no, they're not the. We got the real ones. So. Oh, this goes around. Yeah, this is like just some random. I mean, we still have to cross the Rockies, but I-80 is a much lower crossing than I-70. Did it, all right. Nebraska, yeah. I uh, can't wait to go back to Nebraska. That's gonna be nice. I usually just drive through it. I try not, you know, I never really stayed there. It's a nice, nice, pleasant little smooth ride. Central Wyoming. through there, be careful. Oh, okay. My ears just keep popping this whole trip. We're high and dry today. The scenery is so clean. Yeah, it's really nice. It looks just like that and looking out the windows it does through the camera. Have we seen any jackrabbits yet? I have not. I'm getting gas in about uh, 12, 15 miles in Rawlins. Seems like the larger, a little bit of larger towns are gonna give me a better deal on gasoline. This is a hell of a long way to truck out gasoline, I can tell you that. So. Yeah.
first year anniversary. Well, all right, congratulations. Oh, wow. Yes, congratulations. Your paper anniversary. that way though. Once we get to Omaha and points east it'll be very heavy trucker traffic. It'll almost look like a wall of trucks. Oh right. Tim, yours is first in one month, huh? Well, congratulations to you too. is down. Hey hippie peace. How you doing? Just, uh, refresh your browser. It's still running good here. Watch out for the jackrabbits on the side of the road. Okay. I heard jackrabbits are huge. I've never seen them. Is fine yeah, Tom, okay. Tom Finland, I appreciate that. Good to see you along, Tom Finland. Excellent to see you. One of my uh, great moderators. I've got, uh, what I got in here today? I've got, uh, I'm trying to turn, flip this around. I think I got Jen Jen in there. Good morning to you, Jen Jen. Thank you for all you do. And also, Tom Finland, much appreciated. See, I got the perfect coverage. There's always like one or two mods that are in a chat. Nighttime, right. there's a lot more. Right. It's always good. We're heading to some storms. Yeah, it looks a little dicey over there, but... Yeah, as long as we don't hit it in the afternoon, tornado or you know, something, we have to be careful of uh, twisters on the planes. There's my gas light just went on. Oh. So I got uh, 30 miles of gas to Cheaper scare. <laughs> Welcome back. day, huh? Tom Finland, well thank you.
got a feeling you're on the same cable provider, huh? Oh, the Rollins State Penitentiary is open for tours, huh? And we're back. We are back. We lost you guys. doing Tom welcome back <laughs> why is this why is this upset you so much Oh, the major buffering, yeah, yeah. Well, it happens when you go through mountains and plains, you know, with nothing around. Signals are far and few between. Nope, straight, few between. Nope, straight. Hey Vegas Barbie, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? I watched a couple of your videos, uh, or that one video the other day, uh, yesterday. It actually was really touching. You know, it, it was really touching. I understand. I was just like, wow. Is the phone getting hot? Actually, it is getting a little warm. Just want to watch is all I know, man. It's just like I said, when you go through these uh, mountains and stuff, it's, signals are sketchy, you know. Hell, I can't even get a signal on my phone. Oh, really? No, I do not have Storm Shield on my app. I mean, on my phone. I should probably download that. That'd be, you know, you're right. That's that's a good thing to have and see where everything's at. That's why it might be buffering too. That's true. That is very true. Her phone gets really hot really easy. I'm not sure what you're asking me, Blade. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll make sure I do that. Thanks, Chris. When I have signal, I'll do that. Still don't have it though, I just checked. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was it was a great video. You know, it really kind of touched me. Does it give you an Elvis warning too? <laughs> uh, man, I'm getting tired. All this riding. It's so bright though, man. It's like, I gotta squint my eyes and stuff. I need to buy another pair of sunglasses. I left my sunglasses in Vegas somewhere when I was visiting. And uh, yeah, now I need a new pair. I need to buy some. Is it still buffering? How are we doing, guys? My eyes match my shirt. I have blue eyes and a green shirt on. <laughs> See? Oh, it's fine. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, right over drown. Warning, warning, all this approaching. Uh, and she's back. It seems okay now? Okay, good. We got Vegas Barbie in here. Vegas Barbie! How are you doing, Vegas Barbie? Nice to see you. Vegas Barbie. Oh, it does? Thank you. How about Vegas Barbie? I caramba, baby. Woo! Oh, shit, I still got the fucking thing. Oh, I've damn. done that. I do that so often. She's about to pull away with the guest bump inside. Oh, I'm glad ding, ding, saw that. I always see it in the rearview mirror. That's called. I've never ripped one yet, but that's called ding bat on the road. I have seen one one right out. Oh, I've seen it probably twenty times in life. That. Oh, now it's buffering again. Okay. Yeah, it's we're up. We're really up here at very high altitude now. So if we lose you guys, I'm I'm attempting to keep it going. Plus, your phone's pretty warm. Well, it shouldn't as long as the sun's down out, it should be okay. So what do we want? 80 East to Cheyenne. Hey, pecan, baby. Put your blonde wig on, Rosie. Yeah, I should. Is this east? This is no, west. It's west, yeah. Get my blonde wig on, baby. Man, what are you doing, lady? Are what we in are central doing? time zone? Yeah, I'm not sure. What are you doing? doing five miles an hour here. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on over here? Is the old pop driving? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Taking a Sunday drive on a, what, Tuesday? Monday. On oh, Monday, yeah. Taking a Sunday drive on a Monday. I don't think today was Tuesday. Look at that view. Man, that is awesome. Got a nice view. Look at that view, guys. Rollins, Wyoming. Old blue hair and a caddy. <laughs> Cobra, I'll tell you, the guy was doing 10 miles an hour across there. It's in his nice Cadillac. And I bet the guy's a real gentleman, you know? Let's be careful here. We got this darn road work. The weather takes a terrible toll on this... Uh, on these roads, as you can imagine, with all the snow up here. Yeah, there's a few rest stops here and there. About every hundred miles you get a rest stop. That could be you soon. <laughs> Hell no. You'd be out there on the Bonneville Salt Flats. Yeah, it look, looks like a big storm, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Well, hopefully we'll bypass that. Remember, bad weather makes for good YouTube videos, so... Kim C, how you doing? Kim C, good morning, honey. Actually, I should say good afternoon from Wyoming. Show the storm. Well, if there is one, we will.
at that clown up ahead, man. Wow. That's humongous. <laughs> you guys see that clown up there? Wow. Massive in size. <laughs> Try when you're in there. It's really crazy. Might not be able to get one throughout this whole state. Tornado chance in Cheyenne today. Tornado, we'll do a little tornado twister chasing. Oh, all the storm chasers are there. Oh man. Egg size hail. Oh, Looks crap. like a funnel coming down to the right over there. Looks like a funnel starting to drop down to the right. like we're going into a weather situation here guys. Let's keep our fingers crossed. something coming down out of this cloud on the right over here. Cheyenne's on the hit list for tomatoes today, huh? is perfect for a tornado to drop down out of that right over there to the right.
of see it as a little bit of on the left hand side there that thing is actually trying to actually trying to form a funnel it's getting starting to get closer to the ground over there it's got a little bit of rotation to it can see that cloud formation to the right there. Okay, the dollar doesn't look bad there. Okay, thank you, hipster. Hipster heaven in the chat. All right, how you doing, hipster heaven? Yeah, it's putting a point together over there. Oh, that wind just picked up too. About that. I just got hit by a huge gust out here. Temperatures dropped about eight degrees, and the winds kicked up very high right here. Man, this thing's starting to sway on the road a little bit. Next to one of these, uh, one of these fifth wheels, man. far south from us, uh, hipster. Driving through the rocks in Colorado, yeah, that'd be nice. over here I hope not I feel quite sure we'll see one drop down here along the way today construction you can imagine how the weather tears up these roads yeah two-way traffic
Is he okay on gas? Just yep. filled up. Just filled up. Problem is, if we if we hit a twister, there's not a lot of places to turn off here. We have to try to make it underneath of a bridge or something. That's the best thing you can do is get underneath a bridge. River Fox, no problem. Colorado has some horrible hail. Not yet, no news on Tucker yet. Got a warning, but nothing yet. No news is good news, that's right. Rolling hills and green, green rolling hills. Yeah, tornado season in the Midwest is no joke. Flatland drive and put you to sleep. Yeah. What's up, Cooper? How you doing? Hey, Coop. Climb out of that hood and clean that Thank you, thank you Coop, same to you. I know you're traveling too. Yeah, so many cones. Looks like the uh, perfect day for tornadoes, these cloud formations and stuff. Yeah. This is definitely tornado. Of course, but hot and cold weather too. Yeah, when hot and cold meet up here. people. <laughs> Lead you in a round trip song? No, I don't sing. Let's 
see 73 traffic deaths so far this year on Wyoming roads. Medicine Bow National Forest. Uh, look at that mesa over there. bad clouds ahead here. Peterson. Yeah, you never been that, south of the Ohio River, huh? You see the uh, clouds that low to the ground there? Yeah. That's prime. Just wait to spin and get some rotation going. area where it gets real gusty around the van and some wind kicks up. Yeah, it is gorgeous off the interstate. body is something you always should do. Your body tells you when something's wrong. You gotta listen to it. Hey, 
Hey, Mark Handler, how you doing? Gave your husband a free shot glass last night. Well, that was nice. Yeah, they're getting real thick. Off to the uh, off to the right is just black over here. going uphill looks like we are yeah we're going uphill we're climbing out of a deep valley there oh they said it was for father's day huh that's cool Seventy-three traffic deaths since July first. Wow. Oh, there's a cow. Keep an eye on those clouds over there. That's where the action is. Salt Lake City to Rawlins, Wyoming, plus 20 miles is where we've gone so far today. I'm coming up on mile 1500 for the trip. The van is performing superbly. Start. 
start this again. Okay. Raining cats and dogs in Colorado. Wow, man, it's been raining a lot everywhere out east and midwest. Not so much in the, in the west no more. Okay, Cheryl Highfield, Missy Jen, or Missy Jen, Cheryl Highfield says hello and she wishes you well. For some reason, you're not seeing what she's saying. Oil and the fluids. Have you checked oil and the fluids? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we. Yeah, we Good. Yeah, I just got oil changed before I began the uh, trip. I, I run synthetic here, Valvoline synthetic. Zero, zero. There's all types of uh, 
dips down out of the clouds. The wind is picking up terrifically here. Twisting one, one put down on the ground over on the right there. We got one right ahead of us, straight here. See it coming down to the road right there? Trying to funnel up right there, right straight ahead of us. Straight ahead, right up here. See the cloud reaching down vertical of there? It's trying to put some rotation in. Right state is straight ahead of you, right there. Here comes the rain. Look to that. You're right in a funnel. We're going right under it right now. There it is. Twist her down on the left. that thing. Look at that, right there, right to the left. Mm -hmm. Look at that column right there. Wow. Hang on, guys. It's windy as hell. Missing the side drag. I'm just trying to see if we need to pull over here under a bridge or something. There's shit dropping down to the ground everywhere. Oh man, that wind's trying to push me off the road. Hold on, guys. I wonder if we should get under this bridge over here. Wow! This went right over top of the road! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought you hit your head against the window there. Hold on! Wow. 
Wow, what a bitch to go through that little thing. Oh. Monique, my stomach's in knots. That little bastard. Whoa. We're still 100 miles out of Cheyenne. That wasn't no joke down there. I literally could hardly see. Man, I'm glad we're out of that. Looking at the right over there, it looks like another thing dropping down. Looks like another one dropping down right here. You see that over there? Dropping right down. way to the ground to the point over there on the right. dropped about 10 degrees. Big ass flash of lightning in that. They're all trying to form over there to the right. Yeah, I see that. Did you see that? Yeah. There's all your rotation over there. Ski, we get in the tow. It's 
Prevost motor, huh? Hey, Ski Wee! How you doing, man? Yeah, it was a badass tow truck. Is that nomadic fanatic? Nomadic fanatic. Thank you, Bev. I think we got about a hundred miles and then we'll be clear. Right, Mastos? Thank you, Michaela. Hey, Scrapping Irish. Any good stories to tell? Yeah, we will have so many good stories. while you're folding laundry and doing some dishes. I have no idea what the difference between an Irish wedding and an Irish funeral is. Well, I will tell you what, guys. We're right where the, we're right where the cool weather is smashing into the, uh, into the warm weather right here right on the contact point. There's one less drunk at the funeral. <laughs> JK no cow. 
How you doing, JK? I'm sure we will make it there safely. Yeah. Damn. Can't keep this 
thing on the road. chance for the whole day, huh? Thanks, Jen Jen. Thank you, Scrapping Irish. We sure will. Thank you. Five euros. Thank you, Scrapping Irish. Much appreciated. Yeah, next gas stop, we sure tell the we'll get <laughs> Yeah. He looks a little pale over there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's going everywhere. Thank you, River Fox and Scrapping Irish. Appreciate it. right on the edge of this thing. Almost like the whole way there. Almost like the whole way. We're just in the, we're in the uh, action zone right here.
Thanks, Jen Jen. Thank you, Jen. Lucky to ride on the edge, huh? I think I'll take a pass on this if I had to do this again. I think I'd skip it. Irish coffee, yes, I love Irish coffee. A drowned ride on that bike, yeah. When I rode a uh, when I rode a scooter through um, Kansas, all the way through the state of Kansas, I was just drenched because it rained all day the whole time I did it. Yeah, everyone loves Bailey's. Uh, rotation on the left over there, guys. We're on the ground. There's a tornado in Mississippi right now, huh? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Solid State. Appreciated. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Next gas stop, I think we will need a break. Zone is moved a little to the left. Wow, sorry 
So far it's going good, it's just nothing to see out here. It makes it for a really uh, fatigue. Easy to fatigue when you're seeing the same color, the same road, you know. 
trying to wake up. Bulldog, thank you for that tip. I, I stopped wearing hats a long time ago because I was told it makes you go bald. I need to get some sunglasses, well, that's for sure. Just light, like bright lights, period, hurts my eyes. I used to have, uh, I'm supposed to wear glasses, and uh, I used to get the transition lenses. Yeah. That always worked nice. Thanks, you, L. Day. Honey. Yeah, thank you all day. As long as we don't as long as we don't get hurt today and injured, you know. Right. Blown off the road and I'm okay. It's just we're right on the we're just right on the edge where Thank the, you, Mark. <laughs> where this cold air is colliding with the warm air here. This is very cozy for some reason. like little hipster heaven. Oh man, that is a beautiful view though. I just huge, seen that go all the way down to the huge ground. Huge lightning bolt to the left there. Huge. Woo! I'm really surprised we haven't seen a fully on the ground funnel tornado over here. There's some that act like they really want to though. Yeah, they're talking they're getting points and they're they're reaching. Giant thunderstorms ahead, but no severe warnings. Okay, thank you, Mark.
nice to see a patch of sun. Man, look at this over here. You're sitting. Yeah. You know something's coming down over there. Looks like that whole thing is just sinking, uh, pulling on the right over there. Dad on that right hand side. Yeah. Wow. I'd say that's trying to there could be shit on the ground right there right now. That's wild ass right over there. Mr. Heaven says just a bunch of green on the Doppler now. That's good. What state? We're going to Nebraska. Oh, thank you, Mark. Hey, Joe Smith, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Joe Smith. I'm waiting for D to get uh signal so he can pick up a decent signal because uh, he wants to go live today too. Yes, yeah, got that crappy uh, cricket. And that wind just hit me sideways there. Yeah, we're trying, Mark. We're trying. <laughs> wow. There's that Toby Keith bus. Or tractor trailer. Storm Jake. 
Welcome everybody. We're trying to be safe out here. <laughs> Welcome to Storm Chasers YouTube style here. We're out of the Great Plains. Not quite yet. I did not get that uh, message on that um, video though. I looked and looked and could not find it. I went through like five or six different videos even. Hey, all day. Yeah. Here we go again, guys. Fasten your seatbelts. Janelle says, Hi, Rosie. Hi, Janelle. Yeah, email it to me, Jasmine. That'd be good. How are you doing, Janelle? Wow. We got real weather out of here today. Man, look at that. That is black up there. Yeah, <laughs> glad you got two, uh, two phones and watch both streams. You want to make sure his phone sustains through here. Right. So far, so good. That's weird though, because pretty much the whole trip I couldn't get it. Signal from nothing. Now the temperature's rising again. We are headed to Nebraska. Yeah, Jasmine, it's... It's bad out here today. It is bad, bad, bad. Counter hail, counter some rain. that are coming through this this passes here, these passes. Damn, look at this. This looks 
looks like we're going through the gates of hell up here. Ooh. If you can still see the stream, give me a 77 on the side. Give me a 77 if you can still. All Thank right, you, Jen. Jen, Jen. Jen. fun for a couple of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought I better just keep going just to make sure you can sustain. Buffering now? Is it just buffering for Mark or everybody? Hey Goldie. <coughs> it's good there Joanne? Alright. Simon, how you doing? Simon, how you doing, my friend? I hope I might get a chance to hook up with you in uh, Cumberland. I've decided to push on from Chicago to Baltimore. We're, all right, good then, okay. Some people it's in and out, some people it's good. Louisville, Kentucky. escape this edge of the storm. get blasted up here with this rain and, and this gust. I can't believe we're turning right into this thing. Man, it's, oh, we can't, just can't escape wind. it. Hey, white you box, how you doing? Victoria, how you doing? Welcome to the spring. Shit, I'm hydroplaning. That's good, man. I yeah, was, be careful. Man, I was hydroplaning for a second there. Don Egan, how you doing? I was just hydroplaning on the road right there. On that Ooh. curve. Thank you, Jasmine. Yeah, I just lost that signal right through that canyon and... That was it. So.
again, that, that's what I'm saying. We got to be careful how you're playing like that because that, that can be very dangerous. I had absolutely zero. We like being on ice for a second. Ain't Bella Rose. I was, pretty good. I was sliding on the road right there. Oh, well, thank you, Regina. I appreciate that. Damn. Wow. Watch out for lightning bolts on the left coming up here. We're going right into it. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. Hang on, guys. Get off to the next exit. Hey, Amanda Smith, how you doing? Wow. I know. Ooh, Ooh, wow. That big lightning bolt on the right. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. I was just gonna yeah, let's just show this to of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem, right? <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna be safe, yeah. Now it's just raining. Big ass lightning bolts. Yes, here. Sonia, there's there's quite a bit of wind. We just can't seem to get off this edge right here. Help Animal 5, how you doing? Thank you for on the screen. How you doing, 60s? Yeah, Lisa. Fasten your seatbelt, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> I said, oh my god, you turned your phone upside down. I thought the car was flipping. This is really crazy with these tractor trailers right here. This guy. This guy blowing shit all over the windshield. Look at that yellow up there. That's, that's the color you've got to be careful of. See that Whoa, green? See, really that, can. see that green up there? Yeah. Says, tell Rosie I love you all. Be safe. Thank you. Man, look at this. Yeah, 
I, uh, I just took a bunch of wrenches away and revamped the thing. It's no person, nothing personal. I just had to redo some things, and uh, so I, and you know, way too many. So uh, way too many to get rid of them. It's nothing personal. No single thing personal. Oh, my, oh my heart God. is jumping. 
I have to apologize to you, Dean. It was just, I could hey, not. Star Kitty. I got to apologize to you. There's just no way I could stop on that. Uh, we would get no truck. I was it afraid can. somebody would have definitely plowed into us from behind. There, the trucker was fucking dancing. I know, like, fucking crazy. Hey, look at that black cloud, man, with those tails. Oh, thank you, Anita. Oh my god. I've Thank never, you, S. Mark Kitty. I've driven through blizzards and everything. I've never driven There are no exits. Blizzard. That's the problem. If you go over there, you're going to be in a fucking yeah, hydroplane with a pit. There's a lake over there on the left. I know. Come on, Jay, to stop sipping a little on. I'm not taking my speed down. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's all water. This is all... Yeah. Look at this. This is like driving on a lake right here. Let's see who. Oh, sorry, Christy. I, I haven't been paying much to my... Paying attention much to my dad. I'm really sorry. Hey, Mama, four sons. Hey, Christina. I'm really sorry, guys. I, uh... It's just... It's just... I'm really not, worried and concerned about my safety. <laughs> I guess there's an exit, but we're not going to take it. So if I'm on the hill, I got good drainage up here. She is in the slow lane. I'm in the slow lane. I got the hazard going. One more bad one ahead, and maybe that's it. Storms. Okay, thank you, Lisa. I feel sorry for anybody going through that thing today. I'm going to let this truck go by over here. This guy seems to have a hard on to the road. I've never seen hail like that that came that that huge like golf ball size almost. I swear to God, and guys, freezing on the ground. He built up like crazy. That that slush, that hail was six inches deep on that road back there. I eighty uh, in Wyoming. Storm Dancer. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't snow. It was straight ice. I've been, I've been driving for I don't know how many years. Forty-five years. All right, Blondies, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Forty-five years. I've never driven in something like that in my life. Yeah, yes, yeah, Mark. I don't think I could have done it on my scooter. This uh, truck is yeah. kind of. This truck is gonna plow in the water here and giving me better traction. You can see how much water's on the roadway here. See you smiling. Lame as fuck on that <laughs> Yeah, please hear me on uh, all you guys' social media platforms. I appreciate it. Yeah, I say it's more kidding. Thank you. That was life and death up there. If I had, if I had stopped up there or gone sideways, we would have had to abandon the truck and run to the side of the road to van. Because we would have been hit by something coming behind us, guaranteed. Oh, man. We would have been T-boned and killed if we stayed. I had to keep going. This asshole no lights on. I had to keep going. I can't pass it. Yes, Lisa. I know, man. I, just, I could not pull over. I could not take the exit. Yes, so I'm glad I'm not on my scooter, too. Wow. 
I mean, it rained from well, all the way through, uh, what do you call that, Kansas, but it was nothing like this. I literally could not see the road when just steering on just tra feeling the road. You seem to can't get away from this either. Every time we, we think yeah. we're out of it, the highway brings us right back into it. The temperature going up 10 degrees. We dipped all the way down to 43 degrees. No, I didn't have a smoke for us. Did you switch now? Yeah, I quit smoking. I had two today and that was it. Once the pack was done, I was done. I don't know, I, kinda, I really need one now though. We're not out of it yet, don't come here. Oh. Oh. Went vegan yesterday, or uh, vegetarian yesterday, and quit smoking today. Can't afford it. It's too expensive nowadays. Nothing what it was when I first started at 250 pack. Man, oh man. I never want to go through something like that again in life. I yeah, feel, you're right, Jan. We should do that. I feel sorry for anybody that was coming behind me. I will have a cigar. I've been smoking since I was 10. I'm 39 years old now, so I've been doing it for 34 years. Oh, you started the keto diet yesterday. Nice, I could do that. I like my carbs. Get off of the oh, edges. Man. I gotta check my draw. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta check my pants, man. Wow. Ooh, man. I see, a, I see a couple of breaks of blue, uh, man, but then. I literally, I literally thought for 15, 25 seconds, I thought we were gonna die, and that's just, that started hydroplaning. I thought, here we go. We're gonna go off the side of the road. Flip over and everything else. I thought we're done, man. We're supposed to stick a fork in it. We right. are done. Oh, we're the same age? 39 too? Yeah, it's oh. I think man. We just could not clear this edge of this thing. Yeah, cigar time for sure. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys have been through the uh, one of the most traumatic events of my life. Hey, Jessica H. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah, thank you, Wendy. I, you know, I don't really know what to say. We're I, trying, Nez Lover. How you doing, Nez? I put there. I put, Get a boy. I put that right up there with one of the most traumatic events in my life. So. There's not much things that scare me. Was, and I'm telling you what, that scared the living shit out of me. That scared the fuck out of me. When I saw how deep that ice was, and we were hydroplaning, and my dashboard warning, slippery indicator, no traction was going off, I was cooked. And I had the truck, the truck trying to pass me on the side, sprayed up the windshield, and I just closed my eyes and just kept moving forward. And it's just like a Jesus take the wheel moment, that's it. Yeah. That's all I could do. Because you felt the thing. You felt the Oh, thing. yeah. I was like, oh, shit. We're hydroplaning. We're hydroplaning. We're hydroplaning. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was at that time. The chat, I'm sorry, but it did not mean anything to me. I'm, I'm looking at the road, freaking the fuck out. <laughs> hey, Christy, we're on I-80 in uh, Wyoming. That was my, uh, Jesus, take the real moment right there. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you're not old. What is this? I don't know. It's some kind of stupid rumble strip thing. No, I'm talking about the town. <laughs> <laughs> the outskirts of Cheyenne. Looks 
smokes are cheap in Wyoming, yeah. I might have to take you up on that. I might just have to smoke and this I, cigar my for this and my dirt, later. My fucking nerves are shattered. I am done. I am shattered. I, I, that's horrendous. I would. I feel like I'm 25 ASMR kid, so. I am done. Stick a fork at me. Oh, you in Wyoming, huh, Chrissy? Yeah, it's, it's something. You're right. Welcome to your life. <laughs> Take this for Sydney, right? Awesome. Put dents in the top of your van. Or we're gonna have to check the van when we when we pull over actually. Yeah, I, I know the van just got hammered. Yeah, Sonia, we made it through. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear that stuff coming down? Oh, Jeffrey 38, awesome. that shit coming down. Oh, it was beating the hell out of this van. Thank you, random truckers. A comment from you. That's a hell of a compliment. Random trucker, my thoughts were, if I stop, I won't be able to start again. And number two, I was just steering in the direction of the skid and recovering from the hydroplane. And number three, I thought if I take the exit, I won't get back on again. Yeah, thank you, uh, health animals. If you guys appreciate this content, Please hit that thumbs up if you haven't hit it on the way in. I appreciate that. Yeah, all these thumbs were in my head when I was going through that. I had to make some really, I had to make some real decisions right there. Lisa says, bad storms are firing up in Nebraska right now. We got another one of them. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll buy you another one. I'm sorry, man. Well. I'm about to shit my you pants. Just, I need a, I, this is a bad time to put smoke You picked a bad fucking day to put smoke in. I sure did. Yeah, at least we're in a convertible. Hey, Mr. Z, how you doing? <laughs> Mr. Z, well, Mr. Z, I think I shit my pants. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Random Trucker. That, uh, we're headed to uh, Kearney, Nebraska. Oh, well, now, if I spotted your name, I'm really sorry, but... Newt Vlogs, how you doing? No way. Uh, you, could, you couldn't pay me. Oh, Hazel Reptile. Couldn't pay me a thousand dollars to drive through that again. No way. But your chance of being nailed the second time is almost absolute. How are you doing, Hazel? Yeah, we've got high potential for tornadoes. We saw one coming down, going vertical on it. You watch us on radar. Thank you, Lisa. I would hate it. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it on. Oh, I know. Your this is definitely head. one of my own streams. I want to go back and watch because that was scary. I was trying to show the road, you know, and all the thick of the ice because I swear to God, it was like three six inches, just ice, solid ice, which with like frosty snow on top. Mark Hazelton, how you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. It is a good looking sky now. I, I feel like emotionally like I got the shit kicked out of me going through there. I've been driving for 47 years almost. Well, I have been. And I've never in my life been through something like that. Wow. Ever. I've been through blizzards in the Sierras. And I've never encountered anything like that. I really appreciate that random truck, and that means the world to me. Coming from you, I had to make some really... How you doing, random trucker? I had to really make some decisions in short order up here. Yeah, Samara, that was really scary. Yes, Rosie drove really, really well. I, I'm glad that she was in full control. Even hydroplaning, she, she did the right thing. I turned it in. I turned it in the direction of where we were skidding. Recovered it. 
Yeah, Mr. Z, it was really bad in person. Thank you very much, Bobby. Thank you, honey. That means a lot to me. I don't usually whip out, but that was... In the week, you were still fierce. Hey, Atlanta. Yeah, Rosie's an excellent driver. Thank you, Miles Tolls. I try. I try to stay calm, but I'm telling you what, I think I was really close to having a heart attack for real. I've never felt my heart beat through my chest so hard like that. I'll tell you what, Thank too. you, Raven Trucker. I'll tell you what, too, guys. There was there was about 20 seconds in there where it was a uh, Jesus take the wheel moment going through there. Yeah, God sure did. Uh, Thank you, 60. Sorry for the cursing on there. Oh, man. I was like, I can't see the fucking road. I had to smoke, man. I'm sorry. I tried to quit, but my nerves are shot right now. My nerves are shattered. My nerves are absolutely shattered. Like white as a ghost and shit.
because I would love to meet her too. Um, Thank you, Jessica H. $1.99. Thank you, sweetie. All right, Jessica H. Woo! Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, honey. Really appreciate it.
guys are awesome. It's still kind of windy out here. Oh, it's very windy. But look at that. Look at that blue sky up there. Yeah. Thank you, Goldie. I love you too, honey. Woo, Goldie. Goldie Cobb. How you doing? Thank you for the stream. Thank you, sweetie. You guys are awesome. I'm going to buy out all the underwear in the store. Uh, Sean the Brit with that $10. Sean the Brit, thank you. No show with that much. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Well, you guys got the action today. Thank you, Sean the Brit. Thank you, Sean. I would, but I got smoking. But Sean, all things considered, I would have rather changed places with you and be watching on the computer screen <laughs> going through that shit. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, please share this on your guys' social media platforms. I appreciate it. And if you want to cut out a section of it and use it, if you want to download that and cut that out to my guest. Adrenaline junkie, and I love excitement, but man, that was a little too much for me. <laughs> you know what made it? You know what made it the worst? The, the truckers were still kind of rolling. One of them was ground to almost a halt. But literally, the, if we had been stopped or stopped up on that overpass with the flood coming down us, we would have died, man. We would have yeah. absolutely died. Yeah, if we true. had abandoned the van. We're in a raging hailstorm with six inches of hail on the ground. And uh, I would have feared for our life at that moment. The van would have been gone. The van would have been gone. The van would have absolutely positively been smashed by an 18-wheeler coming behind. There's no way an 18-wheeler braking would have been able to stop for that van up there. That was definitely a Jesus take the wheel moment. Oh. oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, my eyes were... My, uh... Well, my wiener stencil was leaking, you know? I mean, I was beat myself on that. When we started hydroplaning me, I thought, that's it, man. I literally thought, that's it. You felt that hydroplaning. Yes, I did. Am I still buffering? Thank you, Jessica H. Yeah, well, I really appreciate it. Woo. I still see behind you that black mess behind you. Yeah. Can you imagine driving into that today? You guys got no concept of what's coming in your way. Still buffering? My signal's still good. Give me a 77. Evil Abe, nice to see you. There you go. Evil Abe, my white knight. Nothing's going to stand in our way, baby. Not tonight. Evil Abe, I'm honored to see you on here. Thank you. My white knight par excellence. No buff now. All right. Thank you, Alan. Alan's best. best. Appreciate it. The best voice on YouTube, Evil Abe. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like my pulse is finally down to about 90 right now. It's so weird, like there's a magic line for us. Yeah, okay, like Christina Spanky. Campbell. We were right on that edge. That storm was right over. That's, 
those two edges were hit together right there. It was terrible. Mouse toes, thank you. Yeah, we're back now. Well, thank you, D. Quinn. You can have that pizza pizza if you want. Oh, no, I'm okay. That stream lags with an Apple Watch that ties the Apple Watch heart monitor into the stream lags. You guys would have probably seen 120, 130 beats per second on that shit. I think you help out, helps animals live. Yeah, the van is, the, I'll tell you, the van is so cl clean right now. It's got power work. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. Look, it's power Oh my God, it is really clean. <laughs> it is power work. How long will we be in the Midwest? Well, we're traveling on over to uh, Michigan uh, and probably at least uh, at least ten days in the Midwest in Toronto, Detroit, Detroit Michigan, uh, Toronto. Yeah, I bet. we had a hell of a power wash right there. Yeah, Belarus. Thank, thankful, man. I'm very thankful. Free car wash. The only thing I'm grateful for is Missy Jen wasn't watching on the stream. She would have would have freaked out. Yes to know. We need to do a nice prayer for uh Tucker for a speedy recovery. Yes, prayer for Tucker. It's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. That's on right, YouTube. Evil A, we're gonna ride it like the wind. Here's our payoff. Beautiful blue sky. Man, I can't believe how deep that hail was up there. I've never seen it like that ever in my life. That was the first time I've ever seen it. Literally, the sky just opened and just inundated the ground. And as I said before, anybody you want to take, you, uh, you want to download, take clips out of that, feel free. Re-upload it. You certainly have my permission. Here's the sun, all right. You know, Barrow, I do feel traumatized. Because I have somebody's life in my hand here, too. I think so, yeah, we have our seatbelts on, too. Yeah, well, I figured if we go, we're going to go off that bridge. All right, Dean Quinn, thank you. I figured if we go sideways, I figured if we go sideways, a truck is going to hit us. It's literally going to blast the van over the side of the overpass, and we're just going to be... Yeah, because at that point, we're right at the top. We're right at the top, and all that shit came down on that uh, long overpass. All right, Seren Seren I was Serenity's gonna, puzzle. If, if we had stopped and couldn't get traction, I was going to tell you, we got to jump. We got Literally, we got to jump out of the van, because these trucks aren't going to be able to stop for our, They're going to jackknife, and it's going to be a fucking scene up there. Mark my curse. This thought was in my head. Yeah, send it to Weather Channel. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, Kojak. Kojak says, how come Elvis spends his life in a van and never has content like that? You know, I can't, you know, some people are born to make content. I think he and I are both born to make content. Sometimes you don't know what you're getting into. You're too stupid to even realize what you're potentially facing up there. Right. The payoff is some dramatic YouTube uh, video. Yeah, me too. I wasn't thinking about myself. Just, I felt myself hydroplaning and started steering into it. And then... Uh, the thing on the dash was born in slippery road condition, right. thing was flashing and shit. Hey Mickey, well if you would have joined in about 20 minutes ago, you wouldn't have said what a pretty day. <laughs> oh man, if you check that out, go back through, check that out, and see what we had to go through. Yeah, watch that and take out that section if you want. Hey William, Smith, yeah we are. 
New York cat, how you doing? I'm doing good. And uh, thank you guys for the uh, tips. They really are appreciated. We do feel, we do really feel like uh, content gets rewarded, even if it's not intentional and it just happens. That's really the best content. You know? We will definitely get a six pack of beer tonight. For sure. Oh yeah. I've not had beer. Yeah, I was too, Monique. I thought we were going to witness our own, uh, you guys will bear witness to our own demise out here. How have you been, Mickey? I haven't seen you in a while. Nice, we're up to 71 degrees again. Man, can you believe we got all the way down to like 43 degrees up there? I better watch my speed. I was doing a hundred. Yeah, somebody could maybe go get a time stamp on that. I think it does a DVR, so yeah. Put that up on Twitter. Just get those. It does look like we got through that storm front, thank God. Yeah, these clouds up here look nothing like the ones that we just came through behind. Yeah, it's kind of nice, huh? Yeah, about 40 minutes ago, yeah. Man, when we turned that corner, we saw that just said, sheet, we knew we were in for, we knew we were in it, man. Right. Have a Coors Light Tall Boy, Rosie O'Kelly. Yeah. I am going to tonight. Hey, Will Love, how you doing? I'm going to buy D and I a couple tall boys and just sit there and chill out. Well, it's getting a little darker up ahead, but at least it's not the mountains, you know? Right. So there won't be any icing. I believe how deep. Man, that stuff was like six inches deep. Like I know, and it was just a solid sheet of ice with ice. Some frost on top. You have a nice, yeah, we'll have a nice chill out church tonight for sure. Uh, we are on I 80 in Wyoming. I'm not exactly sure where we're at. We just passed Casper. <laughs> Yeah, them clouds are amazing, aren't they? Man, that was, you know what, guys? That was, uh... It is beautiful. That was like, you know, for you guys... Let me, let me turn this around. all the sound and you're you're kind of perceiving the vehicles slipping and uh, you're seeing that icing on the road up ahead it's, it's like an IMAX theater experience right there you know yeah it was but it's real life there ain't no cameras rolling except the ones here I know I cursed the blue streak up there <laughs> original people that were here in uh, the summer of 2015 on uh, Omaha YouTube the going to Omaha boy the bottom of YouTube it's in yeah, it's getting with louder and louder wasn't it crazy I don't know if the, I don't know if the van got any damage or not I got a chip glass right down yeah, I got a I got a chip down here in the windshield. windshield from the hail. I do have one chip in the windshield here. Another one over here. Yeah, I actually have two chips in the windshield. Yep. Damn. So I do I do have some hail damage. That one down there is pretty nasty. Yeah. It's 
I wonder what the roof is going to look like. Hello, if I missed you, apologies. I can't catch all the chat. I'm just still decompressing here. Prayers for Toronto. Yes, Janelle. Thank you. Hey, Eric. How you doing? Things doing the stream. They got the suspects in custody from the shooting. Well, that's good, Christina. Glad to hear that. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Jen, I'll call my insurance company. Um, how long before we uh, stop? I got about a half. Uh, about less than half of a tank of gas to burn through before we stop. So I would say maybe a hundred more miles and we'll think about stopping for a bit. Time just went by so fast and it's like it really did. To actually. me it felt like it was for you guys when I looked at now I can't believe the time. But when we were in it it felt like slow motion, like everything was just gone like super slow. Thank you, Help Animals Live. Yeah, if the insurance company needs proof, they sure got it. Yeah, so it looks like I got some hail damage to the windshield here. skies and white clouds instead of dark skies and black clouds. <laughs> that, that was that was one of the right up there was one of the most scariest things but it was also a great experience for uh, YouTube. Well not just YouTube but a life experience, yeah. you know what I mean? And add to the book. Yeah, the day we almost lost it. Thank you Jasmine, I appreciate that. Okay, take care, Bev. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for spending time on the stream. Okay, Janelle says make sure you take frequent breaks to prevent blood clots in the legs. I'm sure we'll bless it, Janelle. I take a baby aspirin every day, too. So, And we will stop in about 100 more miles. We'll figure out where we are. Out of the freak zone, man. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Huh? Underwear check, underwear check, underwear check. Yeah, Jan, I noticed that. I've seen quite a few of those actually lately on this uh, highway. So, what'd you guys think about that? The ones that were here when we was going through that? <laughs> we thought you were going to die. <laughs> Does anybody? Did anybody think we were going to flip and die? I was, the greatest potential was being hit by a tractor trailer coming behind us, a semi, because on that ice there was no way a semi was going to be able to stop. No. And the, the van was going to be obliterated. If we had to stop, I would have told Dean we just got to run for it. <clears throat> and get far away because when that truck hits the van, it's going to flip it up in the air about 50, 100 feet. That's going to be it. Been there and done that in Wyoming and Tennessee. It is scary. Yeah, it is. And in that hail, that's where it's made. We lost our traction. We were hydroplaning. The water was bad enough that that ice killed. But you knew how to handle it. That's what's yeah. really good. Yeah, well, I'm used to driving on icy. Right. A lot of people would just be like freaking out, yeah. slam on the brakes, and that you makes everything way worse. You cannot brake in that worse. situation. You have to keep. You have to steer into it. And keep the, keep your gas actually on harder on the gas pedal. It goes against people's natural inclination. They want to break and make it stop. Make it stop, but you can't do that or you'll, you'll be dead up there. Steer into it, accelerate slightly, and you'll regain control. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's true, Jan. Hydrate myself a little bit. Venture Unknown, how you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. Clearski the Creeper, what's up, Creeper? That's the similar. That must be the experience guys feel like when they survive the epic firefight in a yeah. battle. You know, they go back and they're like, "Wait, well, right. did you see this? Or can you believe that?" Um, man, yeah, Bella, the trip's going really good besides the weather. <laughs> Broke the front of the driver's side here. Oh my goodness, Jim, that's crazy. Not much, man, not much. How are you doing up there in Oregon? <laughs> there we go, my big evil, e rosy, evil, Knievel O'Kelly. <laughs> I love Monique. I love you, girl. Dave said, if Rosie had big tires and a real truck, she, she would never have hydroplaned. Yeah, I know, well. I don't. I don't have that kind of money. I wish I did, but I don't. I just have to make do. Oh, I will, Klerski. I have to uh, run home real quick and then uh, be going back to uh, Vegas, picking up a scooter again, and um, be on our way. Duck take your mouth shut. This <laughs> good content. I never. Oh, thank you, Ellie know, Poof. D's never been free. It was the first time I've ever seen D legit kind of freak down. <laughs> I mean, nothing really scares him. So I like excitement and adrenaline, but that was just way too much. Oh, well, thank you, Moss Toes. Oh, thank you, 60s. <laughs> uh, fucking Dave. You, you would have probably been smart when he could take an earlier exit and just said, you know what? I'm just going to stick it out till the chunks clouds change. Dave said, yeah, trailer tires on your transit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, well, I got little wins. It's the Dodge Pro Master City, Dave. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Janelle. Janelle says we both had great videos. No, thank you, Janelle. Yeah, them are some really beautiful clouds now. Safe clouds. Over there looks a little dark. Over there looks nice. Oh, you was in Kansas and had to outrun a tornado. Oh, Jan, that's that's scary. That is really really scary. Yeah, early in the stream we had a tornado. We were coming up. The vertical was coming down right in front of us. It was still wide. There was no developed point, but it was moving. Yeah, them clouds are changing again. Now we're down on the plane. It does. Thank you, uh, animals. Appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up on your way in. Okay, thank you, River Fox. I appreciate that. Respect Mother Nature. Yeah, this is a good spot here. There's uh, We're usually pretty drama free in here. Yeah, that is scary, Jasmine. We just like to drama to be in what we're doing and not, you know, in the chats and think we people to have a place to come and just have a, spend some time and, and have a good time and see different shit every day and have fun. I think we brought good content from Vegas, good content from Salt Lake, and it's just onward we go. Thank you to my moderators, too. I always appreciate when people hit the thumbs up button, too. Yeah, that helps. You know, the other fear I had, that the engine was going to stall out because of the amount of water that was being kicked up and sprayed. And oh, I man. thought about the intake, and I thought, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to stall that. out up here. I didn't even think 
about that. Because it was getting so, literally, it was so freaking deep. Ooh, Goldie Khan, what's up, D Dubs, with the $499? There you go, Goldie Khan. Chat. Thank you so much. Awesome girl, Goldie Khan. Always been a friend of the channel. It's wonderful. Adventures Unknown with a $20 super chat. Thank you so much. That's enjoy. Thank you. That's Dave. All right, Dave. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's give Dave a big woo. Woo. All right. Sorry about that buffering. Yeah, we got we got some weather ahead, but the nice news, Monique, is the road is straight and flat. So. No worries. And inevitably, if it's too late, somebody will slow down a lot to prevent everybody else from having a problem. I just feel sorry for the people that are going into that crowd. I feel so bad for the people that are driving up there. The little old men, the little old ladies, the inexperienced people. Dave again with another twenty dollars super chat. Thank you so much, man. Wow, that, that, that's amazing. I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Woo! All right. I just my only fear now is a tornado. I love driving in rain and snow, New York cat. I don't. <laughs> I hate it. I love blue skies. I don't see a bow either. They says you'll be okay, Rose. <laughs> Dave. Damn, Dave. Upside down L in the clouds that run from it. Yeah, I know. The tornadoes usually have tornadoes normally have rolling clouds turning yellow. Yes, Jen. Really, River Fox. Hey, 
the poop. Thank you, honey. And stay safe. We're trying. Looks like we're coming into another weather situation now. Yeah. Sad to say, we got another weather situation over here. Where are we at now? We are on I-80 in uh, Wyoming. We're in uh, just we <laughs> about an hour past Casper. We're moving into eastern, uh, eastern. We're in the eastern part of Wyoming now. Yeah, eastern part of Wyoming. We flattened out to the <laughs> flattened out to the plains. Hey, bitch is stole. No, we ain't storm chasing. We're not trying at least, but it looks like we are. Yeah, it looks like we're storm chasing on the Great Plains today. South of I-80 at Kimball. Yeah, those yellow clouds uh, are showing up. Yeah, they're yellow clouds for sure. Mark Handler, how far are we from the uh, from the uh, Nebraska border? If you don't mind just giving me a check on that? No, they're not rolling yet. Nebraska right here. Oh, is it? Nope. Scott's Bluffs. If you ever see a rolling cloud, if you ever see a rolling yellow, you will never forget it. We're about 15 miles away from Nebraska. Okay, thank you. Hello there, Helen. How are you, my girl? Uh, I don't know once we're at the border to Kearney. I don't know what the time is to uh, drive time. It's at least five or six more hours, I think, at least. That's a good idea, Janelle. It's for the antelope running the road. Yeah, Jasmine, definitely. about to get a major storm cell, uh, Dave said. Yeah, well, thank God we're clear of Cheyenne. That's where the ship came down for is about 30 miles, 30 miles west of Cheyenne. We were in the deep end of the ship right there. River Fox says, I'm getting a, yes, I have pics of overhead of my house of a rolling cloud line. Wow. Yeah, it's nice to see you, Helen. I'm really honored to see you on this new stream. Shoot you to Storm Jason there, Ginger. Oh, How fast is Rosie going? She's going about 85. 90. 90. <laughs> Oh, the tornado drops out of the rolling yellow cloud line. Okay, I did not know that. River Fox is like, oh my God, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing about 90. Yeah, never a dull moment, Ginger. Never. Good screaming content, yes, River Fox. <laughs> yeah, I hope we're not going to hit one of this thing over here. Yeah, Rosie, getting places. How you doing, Love Jones? that friggin' wind again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. I know the scale is the scale is epic out here on the plains. Yellow will be at the top, bottom will be 
dark and then it will part and tornado will come out of it. Oh wow, Jan. That's nuts. Yeah, it is actually, but it's not rolling yet. We have more wall clouds here. Oh, really? H95? Wow, that's a long life, though. Yeah, you can't miss it. Well, she slowed it down to 80. Yeah, because we're coming up to the border. There's going to be a lot of cops around here. There's a town in Wyoming called Bill. Only has a post office and a restaurant. That would be very creepy. Well, thank you, Janelle. I appreciate that. Yes, we have been driving through some scary weather. And when, uh, when either one of us had... Um, cell phone service we were going through some pretty bad weather too before we even got service on our Laramie is storming in Cheyenne so I'm glad we cleared that crap. I mean she supported you. Okay I'm gonna wait a little bit to get something. I'm gonna go about uh about 80 more miles and get some gas, get into Nebraska ways. Mark Handler, my question is from the Nebraska Wyoming border, how far is it to Kearney? Oh, okay, that, yeah, even the truck, big truck wash base, yeah, that's a good idea too. Just pretty much anything that would help us get out of Dodge, huh? Always told you know jump into like a ditch or something that'll help save you. I don't know how that does though. I don't know how this helps save you. How you doing, Sister Earth? Thank you for joining the stream. Just stop under a bridge there. Where we were at, there was no bridges, no, bridges, no, no exits but one. And by the time we got to that exit, it was just so full of ice. It was all full of ice. I figured I would have skidded down the exit, flipped the van, or best case scenario, would have gone down and been unable to get out there again. How you doing, Sister Earth? It's been a while. Oh, Kimball is Nebraska. Okay, I didn't even see a welcome sign or anything. Yet. And hold on for dear life. That makes sense, Dave. Iowa, we stop under bridges and climb up, up under them and hold on for dear life. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Well, it's trying to sprinkle rain a little. We're at the edge of this. Oh, really, old man Bob? Interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's a little hilly, but we were just went through all the mountains and stuff when we got through this storm about an hour ago. Thank you. 250 miles. It was really bad. We are at the top of the mountain. There was hail and everything else. You should check that out. You go back to like 20 minutes into this video. <laughs> when the stream's over, one of my mods will... <laughs> Grab that timestamp period and uh, post it up on Twitter. Hot day in Henderson. 272 miles to the Carney exit. Okay, thank, thank you, Thank you, Better signal than Detroit. Oh, 
Oh, in Kansas, the campgrounds have concrete monsters for you to park the car on or protect the windshield from hail storms. drive across the Kansas Great Plains. I did. I've, I've driven Kansas so many times. I drove through Kansas on the scooter when I was going towards Arizona. And the restrooms are rated F5. Don't ever want to experience that. No <laughs> way. Oh, well, yeah, that means if you have to take shelter there, you can stay in an F5. Yeah, right, Dave? He says that fives are the finger of God. Get down and just mess things up. Yeah, there you go, Colleen. Well, you'll be here soon enough. I'm not sure. I, you know, they're all about the same. Take blacktop up off the road and to bear no kicks. I didn't know that. I didn't know an F5 tornado could just take the blacktop off the road. Yeah, that would be scary and dangerous. Think of what you'd encounter, you know, something like that. All the debris. Sing along. No, we have not, Sister Kirk. Thank <laughs> you. 
I survived, thank God. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. Thank you, Mark Handler. Yeah, it looked like Christmas decorations. Just I sun and like, the Yeah, it probably looked better than I did at those moments. I don't know in New York. Entering Cheyenne County. Glass companies do have something that works better. I never thought about using acrylic, but that's... They didn't leave it like a yellow uh, tint. The insurance companies just cover the chip repairs anyways. No, I'm not yeah, small Marty, right yet. Nebraska, yay. shut my stream down if you want to jump over to uh, these. I didn't even intend. I see I've been streaming for four hours unbelievably here. So I want to thank Damn. everybody for being with us. The uh, Jesus Take the Wheel moments in there. Yeah, that was You crazy. guys are wonderfully supportive and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I will be uh, streaming tonight. I will be putting up the video as soon as I'm done here on this channel. What is it? We're on the Rosie O'Kelly channel. What is it? ever wonder what it's like to uh, run a hostel? Well, you'll hear the story of a very fascinating guy. Some more good content for you guys, and I will see you tonight. Thank you once again to the moderators and everybody out there for being with us on what turned out to be, I thought it was just going to be a, hey, how y'all doing stream, and it turned into a thank you, little bit of a life and death struggle there. So, thank you very much, everybody. Woo! Hey, 